Yo, man, it's your boy Lil Tyler, man. I'm finna take y'all to Nay Nay House. God be everywhere around Tyler has a man, shout out boy where I grew up and shit at, man. This is where it started with Lil Tyler Ski. No pad of pen. They say I'm rapper of the year, I got them niggas mad again Bitch, the grind don't never stop, every day we gettin' it in Niggas love to rap by ox, I'm finna tell them about them bands Every time I hit the road, I come back with at least a 10 If you wake up tryna get some dough, then you know what I'm saying. They be hatin' on the kid like hoes, them niggas really fans Man, this shit I just made from the show, can't fit inside my pen Early morning, woke up to a check, just made me do my dance Jump on the mic and go dumb on the beat, that shit don't make no sense that thing eight feet not going up. You, you ain't gonna get a stand up. <laughs> Come on inside. Bam. With the light. You got the kitchen right here. You know, <laughs> and then they got all the snacks for you. Anything you need. You know, anytime. Nigga fake like he sit, skip school, come over with Nene High. <laughs> Eat the snacks over here, chill with Nene. Call the ground, me them over here, hop in the pool sometimes. Then back with my granddad. My granddad used to be in this room right here before he passed. That boy, let me see if they got some pictures up. That boy. They don't even got my picture in it. I think he got something in the living room. All right, uh. Right, uh. I seen the picture of you when you was a kid. You got to show us that. That name they dad right there. Dude. Oh, y'all gotta see this, cuz. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, they fucked me up on picture day, cuz. Fuck my line up, cuz. I ain't even gonna lie. That boy had them buckle rules, too. Ah, I'm gonna go viral. Boy. And then you got kids over. Who cut your hair? You had like a real barber or it's like somebody I, in the family cut it? It's, it's, an, it's a Mexican nigga. I don't know. I, I forgot by name. I ain't gonna lie. He ain't know what to do with this tight hair though. He ain't know what to do with it. You know? Oh yeah, that boy used to be a soccer star. Tell you, boy. Boy used to be a soccer star. Bam! Scared me. Why you stop playing soccer? Nigga running too much. Ran out of, getting out of, running out of breath. And I like, I like shit when you score. Like, that shit take too long to score. But yeah, Nene will be in here early morning, drinking coffee, watching the news or something. I'll be in here chilling. So back when you used to spend a lot of time here, Yeah. was you in the music? I ain't gonna, nah. When I used to spend a lot, a lot of time here, I'm real little. I'm real little. I went, you know, I would listen to music and stuff, but I wasn't really into it. Like, trying to, I, I ain't never really want to start making music till like recently. Like, last year for real. Like, I feel When, so when, when is having start rapping? What kind of artists was you listening to? Like, who were the artists you grew up like? Migos. Yeah, who else? Goddamn. I'm trying to think of like the real one I used to live to. Hot boy. Like these all sound new to y'all. I'm already knowing. Pictures got Kenzie. That Kenzie ain't me. And this my mama right here. Me too. Who, me? Yeah, all these pictures. Mama, she look like something off the Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I said that too. I said, well, she looked like, ah. like one of the ghosts. Yeah, I, I, I wish I would have met her. I wish I would have met her. I said, you never met her before? Uh uh. That's, that's my own grandma mom. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I used to be with Bell when I was little. That's my grandma and dad. My granddaddy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yup. The nene house. I don't know why she be collecting these. Like, Oh. 
Palmero Teen Center, man. This was like, niggas used to play basketball all day, 12 hours, boy. Tell you, get dropped off, and come back to nighttime. But I recorded my, one of my first songs in the studio here, too. You know, after that band lap, come on. Let's do it, what the other, man? You got a sign. So them boy got everything for you. Them boy got the pool for you, game for you, everything. That's about, you know. This was shit get surgical at though. In the ball like that. Say pop, woo the shit again. I'm telling you. G used to come in here and hit something like this. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, but I can't even shoot in these shoes. That boy shit about the bus. Come in here. This is a studio room, you know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Got your boo over here. I was just playing with you get loaded up at? See my song on here somewhere. Say your song on there? Probably. I don't know. I ain't never get it. I ain't never get out the. Um, hey, you gonna know, hear that one on YouTube somebody? <laughs> but now they know you need it right there. Go find it. Yeah, I remember here, cause I feel like I don't say it how I like it, and I be like, one more time, one more time. When I first did my first one, I'm like, I'm like, fuck, I can't even tell us that one more time. I'm like, just keep. Hey, hey, you was scared well, to tell yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was scared. I was like, I don't even want to see. I'm high behind this bitch. I don't even. What? I was nervous. Then I start going to mango shit. I'm gonna hit that bit next. Mango shit got me right though, I ain't gonna lie. That's what got me ready for the studio. Cause mango shit look like a real studio. I think it's this one. Appreciate you. Yeah. Bam! My boy didn't know this. Um, to make the song? About an hour. Hour. Song about an hour being loud. Uh, actually, it was first coming out. <laughs> see, bro, it still feel regular, but I'm saying, like, when I see fans, y'all be like, bro, ain't no way y'all really fans. Nigga, regular, cause I don't know. Oh, hey, bro, I remember that. I'll show you that, right? Yeah, I remember your ass, you play basketball, yeah. I remember that. show you that on YouTube, right? It's like, you talking about, like, there was a hater or some shit, right? Talking about, like, he had said some shit. He was like, he said, that's what you really think of me? Man, fuck you. Oh, you talking about on the double-edged <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember mean, Jit. I forgot Jit's name. Jit was on the basketball team. Uh, yeah, yeah, when we out here in Telly. Bye-bye. Oh, you gonna let me on? Let me on? Yeah, y'all, boy. Get a ticket. We in there. <laughs> the boy gotta get them tickets. Oh, I don't know. Shit don't be like that. Might be like 20. 20? Yeah, especially if I get booked out here like some teen shit. They gonna let y'all leave. I want to ask you a question. You know what I'm saying? All right, so like, you know what I'm saying? Because like you, like you professional artist, like, so like, I want to ask you like, you know what I'm saying, about like some things I can work on as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You record that on the phone? Hmm? You record that on your phone? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know they auto tune shit in the ass fuck. Yeah. I don't care. They got pro tunes? Huh? They got pro tunes? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. They got the heart. Right, that's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it up. Huh? Appreciate y'all, boy. Get it up. Y'all hyping me up. Yeah, hey, who that? Hey, yo. He got the... Wait, wait, wait. You gotta get on your good side. Ooh. Good side. <laughs> That's why I got that good side. <laughs> well, no bad side. Don't move. Don't move. Close the place. Tell us where we at. 
Palm and Road, man. Y'all boy know this. Come through. <laughs> yes, sir. Y'all boy trying to be like me. Y'all got to come here, record your first song here. And then you got to go home, get in your bed. You got to record your song on the phone. And then you got to post that bed. You got to let it sit there for about two months. And then you good. Yeah, man. All right, brother, be safe. For sure. Bam. Feel me? Oh, man, we at the back to school job right now, man. About to get, get back to the kids, man. Back to the city. Y'all boys know what it is. Let's do it. Bam. What it is, man? Good? Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Hey. What is it? Boy, I got a sign off. Come on, bro. He's talking about what up, boy? I know y'all ain't finna make me sign all them, bro. <laughs> Yeah. You want to stand in front of the stuff on repeat? Yeah. You want to pass the person the CD? They're going to give you CDs to sign the picture. All right, bro. You got to get anything out of the box. You know, better than that. Them folks don't even listen to CDs. 
bro. Come on, come on, though. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add you. I'm like, you, you, you got a CD player? Yes, what you want? It's a collector's item. Think of it as a collector's. It's not for them to play. Come on. You ready? You ready? Hey, y'all, y'all gotta get in line right here. Oh, gotta get in line. Gonna come to you with CDs. Hold oh, the pen, cuz. You pass it to me if I need it. I know some niggas don't want no CD. What's up, man? Go over there. Go over there. Go get a CD if you want a picture. Bam. Bam. God be high school. <laughs> hey, wait, what room is this? 300. Oh, this is English. You don't want to see this. This is the one building. Yeah, I ain't gonna hit it. He's right, you're right. It's the one building you're gonna skip. You're gonna skip this class. So, you was in school, you wasn't a big student. Oh, like, that boy was not in the school, bro. I ain't like school always since pre K, bro. You don't need to do nothing in pre K but paint. I ain't like that. Hit left, ain't it? Yeah, I'm back with that. But nah, I ain't never like school, bro. Like, when did you know it was time to leave school? So you went here for like a couple years, right? Yeah, like two. Then I would. Then it was. It was summertime. Summertime, you started blowing up. Yeah, I, I just like that's when I did my little trillers and stuff, like the music. Then, I mean, we did. I mean, when my mama found out we was at Panama City, we we do a little trip every year. But then my sister playing my songs on the TV and stuff in front of my mama. I'm like, bro, chill out, bro. I don't, I don't even want nobody to hear that. But then my mom like, oh, you be rapping, baby. And I'm like, yeah. Then by the time we get back to Tally, the music done took off now. And then I'm telling her that it done took off. She like, oh, okay, okay. Then we, she started getting phone calls. She, now she shit real. Now she don't want to play no more. Now she ready to sign. <laughs> but then it's time to come back to school now. That boy get here, niggas fiending. Oh, yeah, they're my favorite teacher room right here. Yeah. What is she at the door right now? Bum! Oh, yeah, she's still here. Early. I got a check. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was a good word. Oh, it got all dark. Yeah. So you said you had a favorite teacher when you were in school your freshman and your sophomore year. Like, you had a favorite class. Yeah, yeah they're there. Right 10th grade right here. And it's early. Science. And it's early in time. Biology. I'm in ninth grade, but I hated that shit, cause I hated all my teachers in ninth grade. Not hate, like I ain't right, like really I hate that, yeah, but I'm saying like the class was born and the teacher born. I had Miss Mitchell. Hope she don't hear this. <laughs> Yeah, she was cool, but you know, she wasn't the coolest. Well, oh yeah, let me show you where you get swift at. Where you get swift at, little Justin? The boy bathroom. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. Coming to be every morning. Well, they gotta be lit. But now nah, you come in the business. Let me show you how you hit it, cuz. You gotta hit one of these with a the dope cover. I'm telling you. They ain't gonna know you gotta hide those feet, boy. Then when they gone, then you out. Then you chilling in here. You chilling in here, whole class period. Then you gonna have your white boys over here in the corner smoking their vapes and shit, fiending. Everybody watching fights right here. What, niggas fading right here? That shit too funny. I ain't gonna lie. That's the, uh, you, you go to that building. You go to that building, yeah, gonna be bored. I mean, yeah, I got lunch detention. Oh, we got, hey, we got some cougars over here. What is it? 
gonna be like, yo, you finna? He finna let us in. Like, 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 like we supposed to be here. Oh, what's up, man? Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Hey, Mr. Guinea. Where you at, Mr. Guinea? I tell you, bro. All the hoes be right here. Clap here. Ah! Yup. You say you ain't go to football games, you can't go to basketball? Hell yeah, hell yeah. The basketball is the you know. Yeah, gym, gym class. You don't got to do no work in it, bitch. That boy, Mr. Guinea, gonna let everybody fail. <laughs> <laughs> he a cool ass nigga, though. He a cool ass nigga. He ain't well, there, though. Like, what? He thought he was gonna get this far. They should have had a gold down, ball down, everything. It's a good court, though, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, this bitch. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't play basketball in high school. I played middle school. High school, when I got high school, that shit was dead. <laughs> <laughs> what they call it might be trivial. Be like, be like, hey, hey, can we film the boys? Be like, be like, can we film the boys? Oh, y'all boys. Oh, y'all boys, y'all boys, little. Hey, don't let me be clothed in this hood. Oh, y'all boys. What y'all finna practice? Hey, we can come out here film y'all boys? Yeah. Where y'all coach at? You man, you you had coach? I had coach right here. What's, What's up, up, man? You probably don't know me, man. I used to go here though. Yeah, but I, I remember. Just, oh yeah. I'm just coming back yeah. to pay homage and shit. We can record it. We can um, record the boys while they practice. Oh no, though. you gotta you gotta ask Coach John. When he get over there, he'll be over there. I bet. Yeah. We gonna walk over there though. I played soccer, basketball. Played your whole one time. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. You know, keep it cool. Yeah. See, look, when I started rapping and stuff, it was like summertime. So when I was in school, I went, I went rapping like, I wasn't even rapping. Then. I had homeboys who were rapping. Yeah. But I wasn't really rapping though. But I used to just be cooling at lunch, you know, chilling. It would be right here. When you and Lisa found out that Tyler was rapping, I want you to tell us, like, how did y'all discover he's rapping? When did y'all learn, like, okay, it's time to decide between school and Last year, July, like, we went to Panama City. Right. And he had posted a, a video that they made on, on his phone on the TV, you know, like, share whatever. And I was like, is that Tyler? And they, they were like, oh, he's just playing around, like, doing that kind of stuff. So we didn't think he School started, and this is what happened. I, summer had happened. So while we gone, him and the boys would be at the house. So I knew they was, found out they was smoking weed. So I would get in the car after they'd been gone and go find them. I was the mama to pull up. I'm talking about pull up. Miss Lisa's coming. So the first time I'm like, I think I cried. The next time I had to giggle because he's the last one coming out the path, but he just took his shirt off, put it back on, like, oh, I'm gonna trick this mama. <laughs> so I made it get in the car, and then I was like, can I say, fuck it? Fuck it, uh, you gonna come in the house because three black boys walking together, first of all, they gonna automatically think that y'all doing something. And then if you smoking weed, that's another thing. So. Some people might say unfit, but I did the best thing for mine. So I told him to come to the house. So I was already like on edge about him from school. He wasn't getting up, didn't want to do nothing. So Kenzie comes out the back and says, Mama, Tyler's gone viral. And I'm like, what the hell has he done now? <laughs> yeah. And she was like, I said, what are, you, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. She was like, on the internet, Mama, he's gone viral. And I'm like, what? And then they showed it to me. It's a video in his room. They're smoking, playing a the game, and he's rapping. And I'm like, DCF, 
What are you doing? You are smoking in my house. And, and I wasn't even worried about the rapping part. And they were like, Mama, don't worry about it. Don't worry, worry about it. So next thing you know, Alamo Records called first. Like I did say, I thought it was a joke. Like, I was like, what? And he was like, oh, I just want to congratulate you, da, da, da. I had no idea what he was congratulating about. No, nothing. Then boom, boom, boom. Over, it wasn't even a month. Five or six labels was at us. And I'm like, he's 16. Like, and I know I've watched the documentaries of, like, artists and what happens to them and the life and all that. And I'm like, I'm not selling my child. They, I didn't even know a dollar amount, but I'm like, mm -mm. there's no way I'm not selling them. So they all came here one by one. And I was so tired at the end. And... I'd left here, and Lon Randon was coming to Tallahassee. I didn't know she was coming. I knew Atlantic was coming. So they called at like 8.30 and said they just got here because they come by the house. And I brought everybody else out to Mama's house. I didn't want anybody at my house. <laughs> so I'm like, just come on, just come on. So her and Adam came, and when I opened the door, I just giggled. I said, y'all so slick. Yeah, she did. Now y'all done sent woman to woman and mama to mama. <laughs> But she got me. Like, she, I loved her. Like, I love that. And still, no money on the table yet. But I loosened up to the point of saying, okay, I might give it a chance before it was a dollar. But I will be everywhere with him, point blank. So when I said that, then my team Especially my husband, he's like, I'm going to be. And then this one right here didn't miss a beat. She was like, I'm going to be. So I'm like, I can't leave. So I got five heads now. It's like football recruits. Same thing. But they usually they just take the mama. They didn't know that we was as tight as we were. Like the, the family bond thing. It was a package Yeah. But they told it. They said, well, we promise it's going to be fine. We'll do it, whatever. We love him. We'll take care of him. We'll give him a tutor. We'll whatever we have to do. So then I was really in about graduating. Because I really, before this, I didn't think that he would ever graduate. Because he hated it. It was a battle from, I swear to God, kindergarten to eighth grade. And then COVID hit. So I'm like, you're still going to school. And he was, I was like, truancy after so many absences. They came into play. So I'm like, Tyler, the police cannot come here. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> like, and then the school said he was a distraction. And I was kind of like, yes. Because <laughs> that was the monkey off my back, so I didn't look like that. So I'm like, oh, I got to take him out of school. But I put him in adult ed because I didn't want him to lose his driver's license because he had got his restrict. Well, by then it was popping, and he couldn't. So me and him sat down and made the agreement said, hey, about nobody else. Your first interview, you told him about school and all that. Me, you know how I am about, I, I didn't want you to go any further, but you were going to get your high school diploma. So I said, when you turn 18, I don't care if we got to take a break, get a tutor or what, you will get your GED. So that's our agreement right now. And then it just, and booger. I had Var, which is Fitch's cousin, that came into play. He came at the perfect time. I trusted him. He was older. He knew more about that, the, street the streets industry. and the industry and stuff than Tyler, because I kept Tyler in the house. I swear, I kept Tyler, it. He never Tyler, rode in a car with a car full of boys. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I dropped him off at like a little youth dance thing, but I was always the parent that mm -hmm. was, right. yes. And I might come in a little early just to see what, what's right. going but on. But y'all wouldn't believe what he wore. <laughs> what he went, wore? I took him to City Trend, and he bought a white suit yeah. with, like somebody had did this with a pen. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Bubba, where are you going to wear that? He said, I'm wearing that to the dance. <laughs> He and did. Lisa said when he got out, he made a hit because he had that white outfit on with that. He was always he different. Was he was always different. He had haircuts. Yes, always. He had I don't know how many different haircuts, and they had to be just right. At one, when he was into soccer, he thought that he was Neymar. 
He, he thought he was named Mufasa. He told us about something. Yeah, I'd have to go on Amazon and order the outfits. I'm talking about that whole thing. And the mm -hmm. brightest shoes because they had to see the footwork. Then he got into basketball. And he was point guard. He watched YouTube and knew how to do all the tricks and all that. So he'd get the ball, and I'm like, shit, shit, shit. He would want to do all his little footwork before he even shot the ball. So he was, he's always been like a show out. Kind Tell of him about the, um, all of his outfits. How he used to have all of his costumes when he was little. Oh, we kept Halloween costumes from every year. Yeah. So in the afternoon, he had to come home and put them on and get out there and play. Like, he had imagination. Like, that, um, I thought, I'm like, what is, like, some, what is tell us different? No, I like, guess you could say you always knew Tyler was going to do something, do something new. No, I always knew Tyler was different. thought he was, was going to do nothing. I thought he was different. I'm telling you, when I, after, after the little driver's ed thing in the summer and the weed. <laughs> I about got to the point, I'm like, oh, he might not graduate, he's going to get a trade. So then I'm like, he said, oh, my stepdad is, they own a construction company. So I said, won't you be a heavy equipment operator? He looked at me and said, mama, I ain't built for that. <laughs> and I had to laugh, I'm like, there sure ain't. So then I'm like, well, you're going to do something. You're not going to lay here on this couch while I get up and go to work every day. So he thought about it. He said, what about tropical smoothie? <laughs> and that was our goal this last summer mm -hmm. was Tyler was going to be at tropical smoothie. So I got, I made a decision. I mean, he's my baby. He's a boy. I don't care who he is. He's always mine regardless of what. I push him. But I don't give, he would all, so I was like, he's going to be 35 on the couch at home. That's right. <laughs> and that's what I thought. This is nothing but God. God is done I swear, it's not my God. Yep. He was like, in my house, in his room, playing the PlayStation, an Apple phone. I gotta give it to Apple. Band, band, band lab. Band lab. Mm -hmm. band lab. Yep. We Distro kid. Band lab. Yep. I, that's I gotta give it to him. Uh, that's, that's why I was like, I've never seen an artist. And that's what made the label Who come to so us. Fat, so like, yeah. What? This is People try their whole life. I mean, they, like, they have, they try their part. whole life. By the time we got finished, I said, oh, he's out of here. Yeah. Did I tell y'all that? Maybe yeah. I've never seen so many people know his word. Oh, I my said, God. It's crazy. Just, the other day, they were you talking about Gavi? Yeah. I mean, it's I cannot good. believe it. I, yeah. just, I mean, it's just, it's just like he went to bed and woke up mm -hmm. a star. But he's still but, my same child. And he's yeah. still just He lay in the bed. Day. He'll come in there and put his feet up and say, Mama, will you tickle? Oh, yes. we, watch, we watch TV he together. To uh, what? He asked me, yeah, you, me you think it's okay? Oh. Like, he's, I, he's, he's humble. Okay, he's humble. Yeah. He's yeah. always yeah. been humble. Yeah. But I mean, he's, he's just, so I know everybody loves their children, and that's like, they think their kids are perfect. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, I, I know he ain't perfect. Mm -hmm. But he is. Special. Like he's, by good he's special. Like he has a, a good circle of people like mm -hmm. watching over him, making sure he's okay, allowing him to be a kid. That's a good thing. It's like a right. kid who has now had to transition <laughs> into. He told me not no, me. world of fame that he didn't see coming. He's like, you guys are still around. But you know how hard that is, like for grown people to get that much. Why they say like money is the root of all evil and all that kind of stuff. To have that that quick, how easy it'd be to screw it up. But like I said, when he started going to the stores with the guys, he was like, Mama, I can't go to the mall with them. They go straight to the Louis Vuitton store. And he's like, hey, wait, um, I wear a white tee and my shoes. And then he got on a Nike um, gift list. So now he ain't got to buy his shoes that more like. He yeah. told me, he said, I want a job just like you, Nana. He said, what is your job? And I said, well, I'm That's retired. when he was little, before I take kids into school. And I said, I, I stay home school. and take care of you. And he said, well, that's what I want to do. I want to retire, and I want to stay home like you, and I want to drink coffee in the morning. I want to come We always... Day. All of us want to be like Nene. Oh, yeah. Nene's yeah. always had it made. Yeah, they, he he would come in here and get his cup of coffee in the morning, just like old man. Me and him would sit in there and watch the news, and he'd sit right there. on Andy the Griffin. Yeah. Andy Griffin. That's like right, look, old soul. We were singing. Yes. Yeah. Like, Tyler had such an old soul. Listen, he was only seventeen. My dad. His daddy listens man. to Tyrone Davis. Uh, 
What's the hole in the wall? Who's singing that song? I know what song you're talking about, but I don't know who's singing that song. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Taylor. Like, um, blues. Old school. And then the rap side is JT and Too Short. But, I mean, his daddy loves music. My daddy. Her does. country music. So when we went to Nene, mm -hmm. it was, so he came home singing Wagon Wheel. Rock me, <laughs> Mama, Mama me, like Mama That was his wagon. favorite he song. Loved it. He would dance in front of the TV with cowboy boots on and shorts without Oh, yeah, shirt. and every year for Christmas, he got a pair of Georgia boots. Yep. He you loved his boots. Oh, yeah, I got all of it. We Lizards, all we had we bearded dragons. dragons. We had leopard geckos. I had to take care of We had an oak to. snake. Yep. It's horrible. Uh, anything. He'd go out there in the yard and he'd say, Mama, it ain't poisonous. The head's got to be shaped that way. And he'd just pick it up and be like, Look. I was out here one day walking out this door and there was a snake. And all of a sudden a snake came by and then two more snakes came by. He ran out there and called every damn one of them in his hands <laughs> like this and had all three snakes. He loved it. He loved all the nature. Well, the last five years, my daddy, my daddy, Tyler was eight months old, and I stayed home and I kept Tyler. And my daddy came to live with me the last five years of his life, mm -hmm. and he loved Tyler. Oh, oh my God, that was his, that was what he lived for. Mm -hmm. And every morning, Tyler would come in, have his cup of coffee with me and daddy, and he'd get up and he'd say, "Come on, Papa, we go order Granddaddy." He said, "Granddaddy, come on, Granddaddy," and they would get out and walk every stitch of this yard. If there was a bug or a worm or a snake or anything, they walked and looked at everything every morning. And Daddy would be there and he'd say, oh, well, buddy, let me rest a little bit this morning. And Tyler would be, okay, and he'd give him about five minutes. Okay, you ready to go now? And, I mean, he loved my daddy. And I think that's where he got the old soul from. Yeah, because that was, the, that was literally the first thing Robert said when he was like, you guys have the old soul when you're such young. And I was like, but he yeah, loved my dad. Oh, my God. We had a snake out there the other had morning. Had one out there the morning at 630, crawling across oh, the driveway. When he went to middle school. You killed it? Oh, you let it go. This is no, my life. Go. Oh, I'm not um, saying one. The teacher, they all knew oh, how to do it. looking on bridge. Oh. That was more than about Spiders or whatever, bugs or whatever. They'd come get him out of class if they had some kind of spider in the room. Or something. Hold on. Not spiders. What was it? I was about to say, you know I'm scared of spiders. But what was it? They'd come and get you. If there was a bug or anything in the room, they'd want you to come and get it and take it out. Ooh. At Fort Bradney. <laughs> you about, now, I ain't lying, this is elementary. This is at a story. Well, wherever it was, it was at one of them schools. I'm talking about lizards and shit. This <laughs> is about lizards and shit. Yeah, <laughs> Bro, look, look. She's talking about, they were, it was one time, y'all. <laughs> I came in class. The teacher was like, it's a lizard on the bottom of it. They were acting scared, and I just went and grabbed that bitch. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Nene, I love look. you, baby. Nene, look, she gonna try to make me look the best now. I'm telling you. Yes, sir. She said I yeah, called three at one. He died. He didn't get one. He had three. That's him with the worst three. Though. Yo, man, it's your boy Latala, man. We just came from Nene house. Guy be Palmer routine, sending everything, man. You know what the kid been doing. This is where it started, man. Ski.